Hello, Kelsey Taylor here. Welcome to our movie review. Now, um, I just completed my top list on my favorite Power Girls episodes per season. And um, ever since I started doing those videos, um, I got a request to review the Powerpuff Girls movie. And um, I have a lot to say, mainly on like how I felt about the film. And it's like one of those movies I really wanted to see in theaters when I was a kid. Um, I remember seeing the trailers for it. And um, like it wasn't until shortly before the movie came out that I saw the trailer for it in theaters. And it looked like, like an origin story. And at the time I didn't know what the word origin means. And um, I didn't know, like, I didn't know at the time, like, what this movie was going to be about. Um, and I believe around that time, or the year before, I got Cartoon Network. So um, I didn't really get to watch the Power of Girls series since the beginning. But um, I immediately caught up on board and just became a big fan of it. And I really wanted to see this movie. Um, I remember one night, um, I think a week or so after the movie did come out, and um, I wouldn't know as a nine-year-old to figure out saying, like, I, I want to see the Powerful Girls movie. I'm always with my mother and my brother, and I, of course, I was nine. I couldn't be in the movie theater all alone seeing this movie. So instead, we went to see Man Black 2 that night. And my mother, like, promised that she'll take me to this movie, and then it left theaters because, of course, it didn't do well at the box office. And um, she, like, apologized about for it, and... Uh, it was very disappointing. So it wasn't until when it came out on tape that I finally got to see it. And um, I remember, like, I, I don't know, I don't know why. I really don't know what I was expecting. I didn't know what I was expecting from this movie. Um, I just came out like, it's cool. Nothing breathtaking, nothing outstanding, nothing as good as the, um, as the old show. Um, and... Um, I just watched this again. I've been actually been watching it a lot since I, when I first saw this movie. Like, it's been kind of growing on me. However, my opinion still stands. It's not a great movie. It's not, um, like the perfect animated movie. It's not as good as the TV show. It's better than the Power of Girls reboot, I can tell you that for sure. Like, you know, after we got that, I realized, like, this is decent. For a Power of Girls fan, this is fine. Uh, basically, it's just like I said, this is the origin story, how the Power Girls became superheroes, how Professor Utoyim created them, and uh, um, basically they they accidentally destroy towns but while playing tag. They don't realize that, and then the town hates them, and then um, they come across um, Mojo Jojo, who seems like a good guy at first. Um, they help him build his um, his lair, and, uh, and then um, it, it turns out to be nothing what they thought they thought they would build something that will make the town a better place to live. Um, it's kind of kind of tough to explain. It's just like so much happened in this short film, 73 minutes. It's an hour and 13 minute movie. So, um, but it's still, you know, it's just, it's just basically, basically about how the Powerful Girls became superheroes in the first place, fighting off Mojo Jojo for the first time. Um, and it's, it's pretty decent. Like compared to the anime movies that come out now, like, like, I don't think there were a lot of anime movies like this back when, at the time. Um, like, like, what I would have never picked up at the time as a kid, that this movie came out almost a year after 9-11. So I'm guessing, maybe the reason why it didn't so well is that people were still recovering from all that. You know, they didn't, I guess they didn't want to see towns being demolished and stuff. Like, buildings being destroyed and stuff. It, I don't know. It was, I guess it was kind of a rough movie for adults to watch at the time. But now, you know, it's an entertaining action movie, and, um... I've been kind of like watching it a lot when I was a kid, like I said before. Um, I watched a bit of it on TV when Cartoon Network aired it. And uh, mainly the bonus features. Like, I think that's my favorite thing about this DVD, some bonus features. Mike has the least scenes, and um, I listened to the commentary on this one as well. Um, there's the Dexter's Laboratory um, short on it, which I'm not sure if this aired it before this movie in theaters. Like I said, I didn't get to see this in theaters at all. You know, there's a, there's a bunch of um, bunch of stuff. Like I'm, I'm more of watching the bonus features um, on this disc more than the movie. Well, maybe almost the same amount of times I've watched the movie. But um, so like, if you're a huge Powerpuff Girls fan, like if you're really interested in the reboot, and pretty sure if they ever make a Powerpuff Girls movie, like another one, it'll be s same deal as the Teen Titans Go movie. But I ain't gonna watch it. This is the true Powerpuff Girls movie. Um, like the only one there is right now, and 
like I said, while I don't love it as much as the show, um, I still think it's an entertaining, decent movie. Kind of like a decent origin story. Because, um, like, I realize we actually have not gotten, um, like, like, like we, we've gotten similar episodes of, like, how Mojo Jojo came to be. Like, it's mainly one. But as a feature film, I don't know. Like, like I'm guessing if it... If, if this wasn't like an origin film, like they would probably do, they would still do a Powerpuff Girls movie, but um, it would be like a TV movie and be some similar plot. It's like one of those situations where you have to watch the show in order to to get it. But um, this is definitely um, definitely worth checking out. And the animation, you know, you don't see this like this nowadays, like not a whole lot. Like um, if it was ever done CG, I then it would probably be better or something. But I don't know. At the time, the animation was very impressive. Um, like, I don't know if some people call it kind of, like, dated, but this was, you know, the animation is pretty cool, and, um, it, like, definitely an upgrade from the TV show, in my opinion. So, yeah, the, that's my thoughts on the Powerpuff Girls movie. Um, I like it, and definitely worth watching for Powerpuff Girls fans, if you've never seen this movie before. Like, nowadays, that movie's very underrated. Um, as I mentioned before, it was advertised a lot on Cartoon Network, and um, mainly since then it's just fading into obscurity, but I think more people are discovering it now. Mainly now with that new Power Girls series, like, I think this one's going to be looked at a lot more, as well as for the original show. So anyway, um, thank you so much for watching my review of the Power Girls movie. Um, if you have seen that movie, let me know your thoughts on it. And I'll catch you guys next time. Adios!